So in this problem we have to find the minimum force P which is inclined to our surface that's required to start the motion towards right. So once again this problem is of statics at the critical point when the object just starts moving. So of course there is a force P when we draw the free body diagram we will get the weight acting downwards 186 newtons. There will be an upward force that is reaction N and because the impending motion is towards right the friction will act opposite to it and that will be 0 0.35 times N. So 3.0.35 uh, being the coefficient of static friction. Now let us start solving this problem. First we will have to take equations of equilibrium. The first equation we will take is of the vertical components. So let's do that. Mm, that's equal to uh, upward force being N positive. The downward force 186 that is the weight. And a component of P will act also act downwards. And that component will be P sine of 38 degrees. Total of uh, these vertical components has to be zero because it's a problem of statics. So we get N186 minus P is not known and of course sine 38. So send the constant to the other side and we get equation in the standard form that is uh, N times P sine 38 equals 186. So this is our equation 1. Let's take the next equation of our horizontal components. Now the component of P that is P cos 38 that's acting towards right hence positive minus 0 0.35 times N that is acting left side. The sum of these has to be 0. And uh, we know the, the value P is remaining as it is. That's what we need to find. And then minus 0.35N. So we could actually do a bit of rearrangement here. Uh, so we, we need to put the P value on the back side and uh, the N value here that will bring it in the standard equation format. So call it as equation number 2. Now equation 1 and 2 we will be solving using our calculator. So in the calculator first hit on mode button and scroll down to the equation containing x and y. So this is our equation. Then we need to feed the coefficients. Uh, in place of x in the calculator let us assume n and in place of y in our calculator let us assume so let us substitute the coefficients. In the first equation, coefficient of n is 1, press equal to. Then coefficient of p is minus sine 30, press equal to. And then the constant on the other side is 1, it is 6, press equal to. In the second equation, coefficient of n is minus 0.35, press equal to. Coefficient of p is cos 38, press equal to and the constant is 0 but we made a mistake here this is not sine 30 that is sine 38 so press equal to and once again press equal to to get the solution so we're getting the value of x in our calculator we can see and uh, that value when rounded off we get 256 newtons and the value of p we are getting as 113 point seven one newtons so this is the value that has asked in our question let's go back and substitute that one one three point seven one 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 three point seven one no need to put any units just submit and finish so you can see the answer is exactly right that's it for this one when the next one we'll take another problem thank you